Uh, Vanaka, merci à tous. It's such a great honor to be with you this evening. Uh, my staff were a bit shy when they were being recognized, so why don't they stand up and, and wave so that you can see who they are. Thank you, David, and David, for all the great work you do for me, my constituents, and for all the uh, communities that we, we work with. I am grateful to have a number of my conservative colleagues with me as well tonight. Uh, we have uh, Bob Soroya, who's our shadow minister for multiculturalism, also deputy shadow minister for immigration, uh, was here earlier. Uh, pleased that we have Peter Kent with us, uh, Kathy Wagenthal, John Broussard, our deputy whip, and also our candidate for Nepean, Brian St. Louis, who I know is working very closely with the Tamil community there. Andrew Shear sends his greetings and best wishes as well. Uh, he is sorry that he couldn't be here with you tonight. Uh, so today we celebrate Tai Pongal. Uh, we reflect on Tamil Heritage Month, the accomplishments of the Tamil community. For me, today is also another important occasion. Today is Holocaust Memorial Day. Uh, and my grandmother was a Holocaust survivor. A big reason, a big motivation for me to be in politics is to fight for justice, recognizing her experience and the people, the experienced people like her, uh, members of, of her family who were killed, uh, how she had to uh, spend much of her childhood hiding out, uh, fleeing and escaping from persecution. And she was able to survive because people spoke up on her behalf. She didn't have a voice to speak for herself in a situation where she faced terrible persecution. Uh, but people, other people, created an opportunity for her to survive because they took risks to help her to speak out against what was happening. Politicians like Winston Churchill, people in Germany like Clemens von Galen, uh, who fearlessly stood against the Nazis and risked a great deal themselves in doing it. And when we think about the Holocaust, we say never again, never again, should we allow something so terrible to happen. And yet I am so frustrated as a member of parliament, seeing again and again and again how we have failed to deliver on that promise of never again. Whether it is the horrors experienced by the Tamil people in Sri Lanka and continuing human rights abuses, whether it is the genocide of Rohingya people in Burma, uh, the persecution of Christians, Yazidis, and others at the hands of Daesh uh, in Syria and Iraq. All over the world, so many contemporary examples, the Uyghurs in China and other minorities in China. So many cases where we have failed as an international community to deliver on this real promise of never again. And what is needed to today, just like was needed then, uh, are people who are willing to prioritize the fight for democracy, human rights, peace, and justice. And I believe Canada can and must have a strong voice on these issues. And your voice, calling on us, engaging us, encouraging us to prioritize issues of fundamental human rights and human dignity is so important. I was proud of, of Stephen Harper's decision to boycott the 2013 Commonwealth Summit in Colombo. We have the tool of Magnitsky sanctions, advanced by my colleague James Bazan, which allows us to have targeted sanctions against violators of human rights. And we should use the Magnitsky Act to target those responsible for violations of fundamental human rights in Sri Lanka. Canada can and must have a strong voice on uh, these issues. And your voice is important in making that happen. I so appreciate the work of Professor Richard Mann and your comments. Uh, about the challenges of framing a narrative around these issues. Uh, but we have such a strong, active, politically engaged Tamil community in this country. And as you see narratives that are advanced, uh, that do not reflect the realities of your experiences, you have an opportunity to engage us as politicians to put those issues forward. Standing up for what is right, standing up for justice, speaking out for the, voice, for the voiceless is not always easy. It involves sacrifice. Uh, but this is what we must do as a country. We celebrate tonight the freedom we have, the freedom to practice our faith, the freedom to enjoy our culture, uh, the freedom that we have that facilitates this diversity. Let's celebrate that freedom and at the same time commit ourselves to working for the advance of freedom and justice everywhere, to make the promise of never again a reality. That is my commitment to you, and that is something we all must do together. Thank you, and God bless.